When I was a very, very small child, I used to play just with the little cars, you know. So it, it is true that in my family, my father did, did like cars, but it's something that, that it was natural in me. So I did go-karting and I come from Spain, so I, like, I was Spanish champion, then I did the European championships. And then eventually you really realize that it's becoming something very serious. But I had a lot of passion already from a very early age. 15 years ago, I joined Scuderia Ferrari initially uh, as a test driver role. And then I spent quite a few years developing the simulators, which now they are very important in Formula One because most of the development of the cars off season and even during the season, uh, we use the simulators for that a lot and I go to all the Grand Prix, uh, helping the drivers, the engineers and I work then with other departments. So I still drive the Formula 1 cars but in, in, less, in a different way. I think there's a lot of uh, similarities uh, between 8Cup and Ferrari in that respect because we are, you are always trying to improve and the car is in constant development, a race by race. So the engineers are always trying to, to try to optimize and get more performance out of the car, adapting to every Grand Prix. So it's just this, this drive in always trying to continuously improve. And I think that's where, uh, with our official supplier like 8Cup, we have some similarities. 8Cup also is a very much, it's a, techno it's a technological company, but at the end of the day, it's driven by people. You know, and, and in Formula One and Ferrari, it's, sim it's similar. For the next Four or five years, I like to still be doing the job I do. I like it very much. I really, I don't even feel it's a job for me. I, I live my passion. My favorite Grand Prix is uh, Melbourne um, because of the city, because of the people, the country. You know, it's, it's really great coming here. Production time in F1 is super important, and I think there's a lot of similarities also with the environment where 8 Cup operates because, uh, of course, you always plan things in a way, but in Formula One, not always things turn up as you expect, they will turn up and therefore you need to react very quickly. You need to be flexible. Flexibility is super important, both for the drivers, for the engineers, and I think whoever reacts quicker um, would have an edge over the competitors. And I think on that respect, uh, between Formula One and, and 8 Cup, where they both work, is a very similar environment. And I think Ferrari on that respect also, and 8 Cup, I believe, they have an edge.